What's up everyone? Welcome to another video and today is a big day for Battle Cruiser Mind to Good Master. So far we are doing fantastic. Last episode the macro games looked insane and that has landed us at 4900, 45 MMR, a couple more rains and we'll reach the magic 5000. Let's do it. All right, first game of the day is going to be against Joe, Bob Joe, a 4-6 Protoss player on Royal Blood. Now in the last episode we experimented with playing double gas openers if I remember correctly and it was a massive success. Double gas feels amazing. Now, the next thing we're gonna have to figure out is what build is good in what matchup specifically. Like, I can't imagine playing double gas in every matchup is the best idea. I do feel like against Protoss, it was the best option. Like the game where we played double gas against Protoss, I think it was maybe even on this map on the same position. First game of the last episode, if I remember correctly, against Saver, uh, or is it two episodes ago? I think it was the last one. Anyway, it, it felt like the 5cc setup got up so fast. The macro game was perfect and it almost looked like a proper strategy in that game. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the game that was convinced you guys to go out on the ladder and try it. Now I'm going to do the double gas again. There are still some things I want to experiment with. I would love to try if there's maybe a fast two or three battle cruiser attack we can do. Because most of the time... Like, it's just really hard to fit this into a build, right? Like, can you imagine making two starports, a fusion core, and two battle cruisers? Like, that's an insane amount of resources. But every time you go with the BC, they always have enough to deal with the first battle cruiser. But never much more than that. Like, I teleport one BC in, they'll have, like, five stalkers, or they have, like, three stalkers in a void raid, that kind of thing, right? So if it was somehow possible to do a double battle cruiser rush against Protoss, it could actually work. Now, this kind of build would obviously be incredibly greedy. Like, if I go for this, I have to keep in mind that if there is a chance, you know, that my opponent goes for a 4 gate blink attack or maybe like an attack with a robo or anything like that, I would probably just die. So that's a risk I'm, uh, I have to be willing to take. Now, if I'm correct, my opponent hasn't probe scouted me. What's yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a probe here. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm crazy. Sometimes I just don't pay enough attention, though, so I checked anyway. I don't think we have been scouted. Yeah, which means it's probably a cheese. That's what I was going to say. Uh, let's see. There's a gateway in his main. Second gas is probably up for a while. Okay, how are we going to defend against this? This is a tricky one because, you know, we are not allowed to make that many units, but we are allowed to make Widow Mines, which is... A pretty good defensive unit. If I had to guess, I would say there is a Stargate probably around here. I think that's the best I can guess. I'm going to try kill this Zealot. And this SCV, I'm actually going to send it around to proxy the Starport and try to answer with a one base battle cruiser. Because holding a lens with strategies like this is super, super difficult. But if I maybe get some kind of brutal counter going uh, with a battle cruiser, I could win the game with that. Uh, it could also be something else than a Stargate, of course. So I shouldn't talk as if, uh, you know... I'm 100% aware of what's going on because I am I am not. Now let's see if the Stargate is actually here. I don't want to go too hard on defense. Normally you make more bunkers against Stargate, but I don't know 100% that it is a Stargate yet. There's nothing on this side, which then makes it maybe more likely that it's a Robo on the left side. Like if you're going by air units, you want to make it uh, next to the airspace, right? So the Stargate should be somewhere around here. If it's not here though, it could be something else. It could also be... Uh, a pretty crazy mind game. Maybe it is going blink expand or something. I mean, in any case, I'm just going to keep making the units I was already making. So that's all right. Uh, I could probably expand. If I don't see an attack coming soon, I'll make a command center. I'm not really liking the situation though. Like the battle cruiser push is going to be strong. This is actually a pretty big weakness if you think about it of challenges like this. Like the mind games. Like if this actually were to be a fake, that would just be an awesome strategy by him. Because I have to respect it because I don't have access to the units I would normally have access to. I guess the scariest thing could be at this point is DTs I want to say. Okay, there's still nothing there. Then I'll just go for uh, an engineering bay. Let's see. Could also be like a robo or something. DT drop seems quite likely, I have to say. There's a third gateway here. I think I'm going to swap these. Okay, so he's just attacking at the front. It is a robo. All right, yeah. Robo is going to be tough. I'm going to have to win this game uh, with the battlegrounds pretty much. Oh, he left that widow mine shoot, actually. That's quite nice. I'm going to put this one over here. I am not making any... Wi I think I can afford one widow mine, right? No, actually be supply blocked. Uh, I think when the launch a depot, I don't think there's any time. Oh, he's going to be attacking this. That would be nice. Like when the second immortal comes out, he's going to be able to kill that before. Probably not. I'm going to burrow this widow mine in my mineral line to keep myself safe. Here we go. Oh, he's actually going a little bit early. I don't really like this for him, I have to admit. The bunker is doing so much work. Why is he going already? He should have waited for a second immortal. Now he's actually going to be trapped. 
And we're going to be able to take a fight that is, you know, way better than what it should have been. I think we got the Immortal surrounded. There we go. Immortal is going to die pretty easily. Widowmine might be able to kill those uh, Adepts off, actually. That would be really nice. And keep in mind, I do have the Battlecruiser behind behind this. Widowmine does shoot. Let's bring that Widowmine to safety as well. There, I see the Observer. Oh, he's actually going to try to target the Widowmine. Uh, not sure if I like that. Probably could have done some more damage instead. But now, all I have to do is... Well, he does have a... Okay, actually, I can make them Marine. I thought I lost one, but I didn't. Five Marines is the max. I'm going to stay to the rules no matter what. I need to wall this off. That's the entire thing I have to do. If I wall this off, we're going to be okay. Actually, with the Battlecruiser, we might be okay anyway, to be fair. Like, the Battlecruiser is going to be... Maybe... I'm actually going to teleport it in because he doesn't have anti-air, I think. Yeah, this Battlecruiser might just win the game for me. All I have to do is survive here. I don't have to do anything crazy. Let me try to surround this with the SUVs. I think I'm going to get it okay. Oh, actually, not the best. My Marines were the one that were surrounding those. I can remake those Marines, though. The Battlecruiser is killing everything in his base. I'm gonna, I should have canceled that CC ages ago, but I didn't. Adepts are still alive. Widowmine might get a big shot if I target it. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot he had an Observer. That is my bad. Obviously, that Observer allowed him to target the Widowmine. For some reason, I'm not used to uh, there being stuff that I can actually kill the Widowmine, right? The Observer, yes, exactly. It is going to shoot. And now I do have this bunker alive. I am allowed to make two more Marines. I'm not trying to break the limit here. So all those have died. Is there anything else on the map? I'm going to scout for it. I think with this bunker, we are going to be able to defend. Like, he can't really go past this bunker. Four Stalkers against the Battlecruiser is close, but the Battlecruiser does win barely, I believe. Okay, let's get this win. Oh, I actually stuck here. Oh, no, the, Mar the Marine pushed it away. Oh, that is actually so unfortunate. But I don't think he has any more money. And I'll just be able to take this uh, base over here and mine a little bit. I have four Marines, which is going to be barely enough to deal with these Adepts, considering they're oh, already a little bit lower HP. He does have a battery there as well. Oh, my God. Okay, this is getting crazier by the minute. Battlecruiser teleport is off cooldown, so I'm going to be teleporting it home. And I think together with the Battlecruiser, we should be able to kill everything here. I mean, if he doesn't... Well, how many Marines do I have? I have four Marines right now. Okay, I can make one more. If he doesn't uh, sync up or make even... Wait, did he recall? No, okay, that would have actually been a good move. I think, you know, if he kites my Battlecruiser, he could win. But because I have these units as well, I think I'm just going to go for it. I need to micro this as well as possible. Here we go. Oh, not the best start from him. He's actually going to suffer a little bit. He might still try to recall here. There we go. He is going to go for the recall. Let's try to kill one Stalker at least. There we go. One Stalker goes down. And now I'm going to fly my Battlecruiser back across the map. I am on exactly five Marines, which is beautiful. And now I'm going to remake that bunker over here. I would love to kill that Observer, but I'm not sure if it's worth it, to be fair. I don't think he would have had money to go for DTs or anything. I'm actually going to use this star for to scout a little bit, because I haven't scouted. He's making a sentry, but the battery already fell. Okay, that's beautiful. The sentry actually pretty good idea. Oh, here we go. He's not paying attention. Maybe I'll get some good damage on these stalkers. Oh, he's not moving. He needs to kite all of them, because else the stalkers are going to die one by one. That was his mistake. This Battlecruiser has 25 kills, by the way. And there we go. Battlecruiser with a mind. The last episode was a macro episode, but this was a beautiful cheese game where it barely won. And I'm not sure which would have been the scariest cheese. I also can't believe he built it in my natural. I would have seen that if i just expanded that's pretty crazy but we made it happen fantastic funny war of game let's go for game number two all right game number two against swarm all right at tbz i feel like it's been a while now tbz is kind of what i had in mind when i said we should change our builds per matchup because tbz double gas is not that great to say the least okay in fact no one ever uses that i mean i probably have a few times but i'm a little bit insane and that's an understatement that you guys know that. But in TVZ, I think the double Battlecruiser Rush is probably the most I've enjoyed this matchup. Like, it felt super nice. I think it was very early on in the show. Like, maybe episode number two or three where we went for the double Battlecruiser Rush. Could be completely off. Maybe it was episode four or something. I don't know. Uh, completely off, I say, by one episode. No, but I, I think that build was really awesome. Like, we got a lot of pressure. And yet, the macro game was quite comfortable. The supply was relatively low. But we did get all of our command centers up. And that build was from a command center first. I do think this map is not the best for Command Center first. I'm going to do it anyway, though, because I really want to keep my build repertoire as healthy as possible. I want to be able to do all my builds properly for, you know, at this point, we are already in GM MMR territory. I think we're barely scraping the bottom of Grandmaster right now. I really want to get as high as possible with this. The challenges look really strong so far, and I've been enjoying it a lot. So I want my builds to be good, and I want... You know, and maybe it's because of that planetary rush to get massive series where MMR got so high that now I really want to try to get that high with every series. Definitely not going to happen, uh, but it's cool to try, right? So here we go. Uh, actually, I'm going to make it here. Okay. There's one thing with CC first. Normally, I like to make my barracks here so you can make the reactor safely. 
But in this case, I am playing CC first. Remember that anything, I don't want Zerglings to run into my base. That makes sense, right? So I'm just going to make sure I wall this off just in time. I'm going to scout. Uh, this should look roughly like a normal SCV scout. I think it's going to be one or two seconds later compared to a normal uh, barrack scout. But it's going to be normal enough. I mean, if my opponent sees the difference in one or two seconds of SCV scouts, then we, all we can do is applaud for him because that's pretty amazing. Uh, but I don't think he's going to make that read, so all good. Maybe his Overlord is not even going to see my SCV. It kind of depends on uh, where the Overlord is. Uh, let's see. What's scary? I think the scariest thing you can actually play against is a 12 with Command Center first. I think that is probably the hardest build, quarter, build order counter there is. Besides that, you can defend anything. I think. Maybe not like one base Rochelin, for example. Okay, that is a pretty late hatchery. Uh, so we are being pool firsted. And here I should once again be able to demonstrate why pool first is not that good against hatchers. He's also playing with a very late gas. Uh, and we have counted his pool first really hard already just by build order. I hope it's six Zerglings because then it's even better for us. Now, yeah, exactly. Okay, we're already going to be pretty far ahead there. It's, it's really funny. I, I say it every time. It's so counterintuitive, but is, this, it, this is just a really good build order for me. CC first, I guess a normal pool first just puts you really far ahead. Uh, or well, not really far ahead, I would say, but, you know, far enough ahead to can uh, consider it substantial now maybe what i'm doing here is not the wisest choice but because he can actually walk in there and kill the reactor i just kind of doubt he would actually look for it i don't think it's funny he's trying to attack this command center by the way because now i can kill all those zerglings for free basically uh which is really nice so maybe the perfect grenade i can get him off the scv as well ah oh, no no need actually there we go all right perfect i don't even need to repair it actually and because he had no gas guys uh, I know there's no roaches following up. Or, well, it could still be roaches if he's going to be crazy. I really don't think it's going to be roaches, but it could be. But anyway, we did survive the early attack, and now I'm going to go for the four gases, and it's time. Um, well, actually, I don't want to make that many Widowmans yet, right? I want to make some... You know, normally you make Hellions, so it's very intuitive to just get uh, the factory on the reactor there. But obviously here, I make some Marines first. I can make a Widowmine as well. Uh, not quite sure what I would use it for yet, but I guess we'll figure it out. Now let's try to get these on the gas. I can actually get mass gas mining. Nothing suspicious going on here. Roughly 200 gas mined, uh, which is nothing crazy at all. And then we'll go for the double star. Oh, that, that is a slightly suspicious gas, though. Oh, I keep forgetting you can actually jump out there. I can make three more marines. Okay, that gas is slightly suspicious. Maybe I should start walling off or taking my defense a little bit more serious. You're not supposed to have a second gas that fast. Though it could be... Then he made it because his first gas was realistically a little bit too late. Like, that's definitely a possibility. And let's get the homies in the bunker over here. One more marine, and then we should be maxed out on our marine count. Oh, actually, kill the creep tumor. Not sure if that's a big deal at all. I guess his queens will have a harder time chasing me uh, through the edge of his base. Uh, my battle cruisers, that is, of course. Uh, but yeah, I, not the biggest deal. Didn't find a roach warren yet. I think it's time for me to swap over. Let's see if I can find a Roach Warren here. I did spend a little money on defense, and I think... Okay, so okay. for a second, I thought it was a Roach Warren. No, I, I was going to say, I think I have kind of been mind-gamed a little bit, or maybe I mind-gamed myself more than that he mind-gamed me. Uh, so my second battle cruiser is going to be a little bit late. I'm actually going to start Yamato first. That seems like a better choice, because uh, then Yamato is going to be finished by the time I attack. Let's see, I can't afford another depot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need to make that battle cruiser first. Here we go. And battle cruiser once again going to finish at a pretty decent timing, despite playing against pool first and having to defend a little bit. Like these battle cruisers are going to finish at about six minutes uh, with Yamato, which is an incredible timing. And now I could either make war widow mines. I don't think I have to. Okay, I'll make one more set of widow mines because he has a bailing nest. Like this could potentially be a bailing all in. And then, you know, my five reads probably not quite going to do the trick, right? So maybe some more Widomites can actually... Oh, yes, I knew it! Oh, my God, that is beautiful. Maybe the repair? I think the repair is a little bit too late. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that was a beautiful Widomite hit. That actually helped us out so incredibly much. He is... He could... Okay, I was going to say, he could explode on those and kill a lot. Didn't really go for it initially, which is a mistake. And so far, the links are not super well spread. I might actually be able to kill these. There we go. Did lose the Marine as well. And now... Let's see, how am I going to plan this? I want to teleport my battle cruisers across. Maybe I should kill the Zerglings first, though. Okay, I, need, I need some more, more SCVs here to actually get a decent trade, I think. Or maybe I should just buy time. There we go. I'm going to lift this one off so I can actually wall this. There we go. Now the base is going to be walled. And uh, I did lose a lot of SCVs. I only have one more chance to win this game, and that is by teleporting. Wait, does he have an upgrade? No. Those links look stronger than... Wait, where's my other... Did I cancel my battle cruiser? Guys... Guys, what did I just do? Oh no, did I? Oh no, did I just cancel a battle cruiser? I swear I built two. 
What happened to my battle cruiser? No! Why do I don't have a second one? I can't go across with just one of these. Oh my god, that would be the biggest disaster of the show yet. Oh no, guys, I can't believe it. I really hope, and this sounds dumb. I hope I just didn't build it at the start because if I canceled it there, that would hurt so much. But honestly, I think I did. Now, I think I have one more chance to win this game. Quite literally just one because obviously our economy is completely in the gutter. I'm going to have a three battle cruisers before he has fire units out, I think. And maybe that's going to be enough. Okay, he's going to lose some more links here. This is actually all right for me. Like, I, I don't need uh, these SCVs at this point. Like I said, I really don't think there's another way for me to win this game besides kill him right now with three battle cruisers. So he might as well throw his units away. Let me kill them and then I'm going to go across. Ideally, I scan the spire. How many scans do I have? I only have one scan. I scanned the main before. The lair was just building. I'm going to scan the natural next. Let's see. Okay, there's no spire there. I have three Yamatos, guys. I think I can actually... I'm just going to go for it. Frick it, guys. It's time. All right, here we go. Let me Yamato all of these queens. Okay, here we go. Actually, I didn't get the Yamato on that one, but that's all right. It died anyway. And we're going to get one more Yamato here. I need some more gas so I can make another battle cruiser. I can only win this one with mass air. There's no, like, transitioning or, or something like this. I can only win this with more and more battle cruisers. So I guess the Spire is probably here. I need to kill the Spire. If I don't kill the Spire, then we are pretty much done and dusted. Let's see, is it here? Okay, I'm going to fly. Oh, he made Hydras. Okay. That is interesting. Hydras, not the best choice against battle cruisers. Uh, can he actually overpower this amount of battle cruisers with Hydras? I am not convinced he can, to be fair. He's losing a lot of queens. He's making another lair. He's, yeah, all, all the queens are dead pretty much at this point. I'm going to try to kill this base just so he doesn't get more mining. Oh, I didn't actually manage to lift that in time. That's unfortunate. Those Hydras are going to die already, which is really nice. I could... Let's see. I could launch some mules here, I wanted to say. They're going to bring this across as well. Like, I need to kill everything. There's absolutely no transitioning from this. I do have one more battle cruiser on the way, which is nice. Another Hydra going to fall. Let's see, I have one Yamato, I believe. If he's not paying attention, he's going to lose these Hydras too, which would be massive. He actually target fired, but I baited them away. So there we go. We're going to kill that one. Or those couple Hydras. Four more Hydras falling. These Hydras are move command. Another Hydra falling, perhaps. Not quite. I need to kill this one, I think. This four crawler right here. That's going to allow me to um, actually get access to this base. Okay, let's see. We're going to kill some more Hydras. He is trying to kill the low APC, but... Uh, you know, oh, he actually targeted Luffy, baited him again. There we go. He clicked on the red HP one. And we're going to be able to kill those Hydras. Are we going to win two insane, crazy cheese games back to back? Look how bad the Hydras are against these battle cruisers, guys. I said it as soon as I saw the Hydra then. And now we're going to drop a mule to repair. Here we go. Sadly, I only have one mule. Oh, he's actually going to try and kill the mule. That's not a bad idea. I'm going to... Oh, I can actually micro the mule. It's going to live. There we go. The mule's going to survive. I... He made the lair again. But I kind of feel like I baited him because he didn't need that lair. He already had the Hydra then. Battlecruiser number five is going to come in, guys. And I think we have freaking done it. There's no way he has enough money to keep up. And oh my goodness. I may have made... I might have made the biggest mistake ever, but we still managed to clutch it. This was incredibly close. And oh my goodness, what a panic rush as soon as I saw that second battle cruiser not coming out. I don't know what happened to that. Did I delete it on accident? Is that possible? Did I kill it with my four Marines? That, that would have taken an eternity, so definitely not. But we made it happen. Two incredibly crazy cheese games. Let's go to game number three. All right, game number three is against a Terran with the same portrait. All right, I guess it's a Demon Lord mirror matchup here, guys. So, I, wait, did we, did we get a Protoss in the first match? Or did we get a Terran? I actually think we would have got a Protoss and then a Zergen, now a Terran, right? I mean, I could be completely wrong. But anyway, I do like variety, so three different matchups is pretty awesome. Uh, at least in my head, it's three three different matchups, so it still counts, even if the first guy was a Protoss, I guess. Now, what are we going to do against this guy? I think in TVT, I definitely want to go for double gas anyway. Uh, and the biggest reason for that is not necessarily the speed of harassment. I think for the macro game as a whole, I would probably prefer to go for a normal Reaper expand. And I say that because with the double gas, your eco really sucks and it's very slow to get those up. But what I noticed is that Terrans attack more often than the other races. And if you don't have a fast battle cruiser, you either cannot defend or you can't counter. So you just you just kind of die, basically, is what I'm getting at. So I think you need a fast enough battle cruiser. Uh, and that's why I should probably always play double gas against Terran. I, I think a double gas is the right balance. You could also say, well, why don't you just go one base battle cruiser then? But in that case... You are very all in, and if you lose even one BC, you're probably screwed. And that is not really the situation I want to put myself in. Now, I really think, guys, what, whoever commented that in the comments, I, I, I read your comment, by the way, and it was, I thought it was pretty funny. But whoever posted that 
they scout me early because my name is Demon Lord XXX, and they think I'm gonna do something weird. You are probably very spot on because it's it's just crazy how everyone is scouting so early. Like, what have I done? I'm just a normal 5k Terran on the ladder uh, who is gonna spam battle cruisers, but they don't know that. But why are they scouting me so freaking early? Like, what do they expect someone called Demon Lord to do? They think they think I invented some kind of inhuman demon cheese that is unstoppable unless you scout with your first SCV or something like I don't know it's, it's crazy to see I, I've never seen it before in any other challenge either it's really specific to this name demon lord xxx that's a trigger if you're a macro player and you want to bait people to cheese you uh, you should probably just call yourself demon lord xxx I suppose because that has proven himself uh, a worthy tactic now we are playing against a fast tech lab. All right. I heard about this build, actually. I, I, one of my friends was talking about this. I don't remember who it was. Or maybe it was one of my students, actually, in coaching that uh, a lot of them go for a fast tech lab to get Marauders with concussive shells. I tried this build a long time ago. Not recent at all, though. So I'm kind of surprised to see it. But I guess it gives me a good opportunity to do some harassment. Marauder uh, is not going to have concussive shells yet. Factory is going to go down. It does have a really good range, though. I can probably juke him and escape. Yeah, this is the plan. There we go. Let me get this expansion up. Oh, actually, good micro by him there. Uh, what should I get? I'm not even sure what unit I want to build. I'm just trying to heal this uh, Reaper up. Okay, it's actually going to heal just in time. Let's see, can I get one more hit in healing? I don't think so. His next Marauder might actually be out already. Ah, uh, Gwen's going to save me. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, wait, why is that SCV alive? I thought I clicked an SCV to attack that. Doesn't matter, though. But I do have to say, the Marauder is pretty good in defense here. I do actually like the idea of that strategy. Maybe that is something I can try out for myself later. I mean, I, I have these kind of like arbitrary rules of, you know, uh, five Marines, one Reaper, but if I made two Marauders instead, it, it would probably be the exact same thing. So I don't think anyone is really going to complain about that. Now, we are going to kill an SCV. So I guess he just high ground expect. I can, you, know, you know what's really cool about this build? The thing I like the most. Wait, did I make a depot or not? Oh, I did. Okay. The thing I like the most about this build. So now he's going to go for mass site. Oh, okay. That is one of the scariest things you could see as someone who's going to make battle cruisers. He's going to make mass cyclones with Magfield, and I guess I'm going to have to somehow beat that with uh, Battlecruisers. I don't know how I'm going to do that at all, but I guess we'll find out. I'm definitely going to make a bunker. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, what I like about his build is that it seems like a really cool middle ground between playing Reaper Expand and Double Gas. Like, if you play against the Reaper Expand, usually you want to be a little bit greedier yourself too. And he is getting the expansion pretty fast, right? But if you're playing against a double gas, you want to play a little bit safer. So that's why he has the expansion on the high ground. So I think his build is probably a good counter to just standard double gas play. I, I do have to say, by the way, my Widow Mines are going to be an insane counter to the Cyclones. Like, there's a good chance he will just, you know, drive into one of them. Uh, maybe not all of them, but maybe one of them and one Cyclone is going to die instantly. So I think I could actually have a pretty nice counter here. I'm going to get that Battlecruiser out. Probably... Should I get double gas? I'm not 100% convinced, actually. Um, no, I think I'm going to skip it for now. I think I'm going to start making more command centers. Like, I, I don't think Yamato's going to matter because he's going to have so many Cyclones with Macfield anyway. I haven't seen the barracks yet. I know the barracks flew to my base, but where did it go? Let's see. Okay, the barracks is right there. That's nice to find. I'm not sure if he saw my Widow Mines, though. Because he could technically attack me from the left side, and I wouldn't have anything to cover it. Okay, Helene is going to go down. Okay, th that was a really good move, actually. I feel like this guy is super on top of everything, no? Like, he sent the Helion to uh, bait the Widowmine, and I'm not even sure he knew it was there. Oh, okay, this guy, he might know who we are, honestly, because he is just spamming factories like crazy. Like, quite literally, he's, just, he's not doing anything else, just spamming factories like crazy. How are we going to deal with someone like this? I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should click the, yeah, I'm gonna I was thinking about teleporting the battle cruiser across. I actually think I'm just gonna send it around though. Okay, okay he scans that widow mine too. Alright, yeah, this guy has the awareness of a god. Or there's something else at play, but I'm not gonna say it out loud until I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that says enough. There we go. He just has the awareness of a god, but he slipped up once. Uh ba battle is gonna go down. I was gonna say battle cruiser, I hope not. Imagine if a barracks could kill Battlecruiser, that would be something else. Now, but how am I going to win this game? That's the thing I'm really struck. Another one! Let's freaking go! Okay, it started off super... I think I cursed him or something. I don't know how I did that, but I totally cursed him. I, he really had the awareness of a god. Everything went well. He, you know, flew his barracks around my Marine Scout. He got my Widow Mine with the Hellion. He scanned this one. Everything was just perfect. And then I said he was playing like a god. And then it all slipped away from him. That's a little bit... That's my bad. I'm sorry about that, my man. But how am I going to win this game? So even Planetaries are not going to be that great. 
against mass cyclones or mass mech to begin with, right? I'm gonna get my command center over there. I am Kalus. He said, well, did he sacrifice the Marauder to kill that? That's, I mean, you could have just scammed. Okay, so he has turrets. He's very prepared for this. He doesn't have mag field yet, actually, does he? Oh, he does. But for some reason, I got really bad at seeing that. I just never see whether they have mag field or not. Okay, this is the plan, guys. I'm just spreading widow mines all across the map. And I'm going to fly my battle cruisers in, like, different directions uh, all the time. Because I think having them at the same place is going to make it quite easy for him to defend. I'm going to make it a planetary anyway, just so he can't kill me too easily. Wait, maybe I can actually kill that Hellion. I know he's keeping it up there waiting. Ah, okay. I knew he was up there waiting for, uh, you know, his uh, backup to show up. And I was like, maybe you can actually kill that Hellion without him paying attention. But no. I'm actually going to try to spread these on, like, as many random ramps as I can. If he's smart, I think he's just going to go for a Raven. Because what on earth am I going to do against the Raven with the Cyclones, right? Okay, so he does see these Widow Mines move out. That's a little bit annoying. And I get this one in the main, I guess. Oh, th I already had the CC. I knew I had one. Thought I was going crazy there. I guess I'll just have an extra one. Okay, so he kills that Widow Mine. He scans the next one. Yeah, he can't totally kill that Command Center. That's the scary part. I need to get these uh, Widow Mines over there. And then I guess you can become a PF. Or, yeah, you can become a PF. There we go. He's getting a good lock on. But I can actually... Oh, I can actually stop the lock on maybe with these. Nah, good micro by him. But because of the armor of the planet there, we might barely survive. The lock on is going to end at some point. Is it going to end in time? No. Oh, I think it was actually very close here. Here we go. Getting a good amount of damage. Let me Yamato that Cyclone over there. But yeah, how am I going to counter this now? That is the question, guys. I can't really counter these Cyclones very well at all. This is still alive. I killed a little... Oh, now I have to get out. Oh, this is going to get very close. Out? Why is he PMing me already? Oh my goodness. We have to, I feel like this game just begun. That's, that's kind of rude. Well, more than kind of rude, honestly. Let's see. I'll get a Yamato off, actually. I don't think he has enough to kill that one when I kill this. That's kind of rude. There we go. I'll have to let him know that he's rude. Oh, we can actually Yamato that one as well. I'm getting... Oh, no. I need to repair this one, actually. I'm getting some decent trades. Is, is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. Let's kill this one. Kill the other one as well. I have a little bit of a surround, but not quite enough, I'm afraid. Okay, let's see. Where is he going to go? Yeah, he's going to go for this one. That's what I thought. I have one more command center, but I really need more than that. It's not looking great right now, guys. I'll be honest. It's not looking great. But I really don't want this guy to win when he's bad mannered, you know? That's... That would be very, very unfortunate. Let's see, what does he have here? He's just spamming... Yeah, he knows what's up. He's just spamming turrets like crazy. Turrets and cycles. Oh, my goodness. Wait, a surround? A surround is in the cards here, I think. Oh, yes, exactly. Oh, okay, there we go. That is the win we needed, guys. Can we get every single one? We get every single one of those. That is perfect. All right. I almost feel like I should BM him back. Not because I'm actually upset, but just because it's kind of funny, you know? Playing with the bad-mannered guy. Hopefully with a good ending for us, of course. Once again, really don't want to lose to a person like this. But still, I don't think it would be pretty funny. Let's try to get some more Widow Mines all over the place. Um, do I have enough SCV? I feel like I... Yeah, I sent a few SCVs too many. And then I'll just start resaturating this base. All right. Uh, four command centers. I think my opponent... Wait, actually, I killed that bit. I, I thought I denied it for a bit. I didn't realize I actually killed it. I was going to say, my opponent has more bases than me. Not sure if that's true anymore. Yeah, I need a couple of Widow Mines here, I think. I know he has a million turrets in that main base, which is quite annoying. I'm actually going to start adding these extra star ports now that I need. Okay, so he's sending Hellions to that side. I can only imagine... Oh, wait, he still doesn't have this base, actually. That's perfect. Okay, I'm going to snipe this one. He could be making Thors, for example. That would not be a bad idea. Oh, I need to get out with a teleport. Did I save it? I think I saved it. Yeah, there we go. Gonna Yamato that one as well. And we're getting some really good damage done in the main here. This is perfect. Let's see. I got a few more Yamatos. I don't have to get out of it now, though. There we go. Another Cyclone going down. And I think we've made some pretty good moves here, guys. We're actually getting back slowly. I'm just gonna get another base here. I Oh, that's actually misplaced. I don't think he's gonna scout that. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to get another base up there quickly. And then my Widow Mines, where do I place my Widow Mines? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't made a Raven yet, by the way. I feel like at this point, he would kind of realize that a Raven is exactly what he needs. Now, I could get armor. It might also be a waste of money, though, because armor does not help against... Um, does not help against Cyclones, like quite literally it doesn't. Yeah, he's going to come again. I knew it. I think I'm actually going to fly this away temporarily. He has a turret on that base. What the hell is the turret doing there? I mean, kind of cool. Not, not going to lie, kind of cool. Even uh, against our rivals, we can admit that they do some cool stuff sometimes. Ooh. Can I maybe save this? I don't think I can save that, actually. But actually, the cycles are weaker now, so maybe I can barely save it. No, barely not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to counter again with these. Okay, just try to get this one up. 
He does know I have um, a planetary on this side now, which could be annoying because he's just going to try and deny it, I guess. I'm going to keep making command centers. I really have to do this. I can never give up on the macro here. I I'm going to have to keep making CCs for the rest of this game, basically. Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of Yamatos here. This is beautiful. There we go. So many of those going down. I did also lose a lot of Widomines, though, which is unfortunate. Maybe I can actually... Oh, okay. Oh, he saw that one with the scan. That sucks. Okay. I do actually... Have... Wait, I have another BC here. I didn't even know I existed. Okay. Teleport that one out of there. Widomine actually paid off there. That's beautiful. Now, can I survive this planetary? Or can this planetary survive, rather? I'm not sure. I'm going to try to find for an additional base. I'm sad I don't have Widomines on this wrap. Ideally, I would have had Widomines on both. Okay, let's get one more Yamato, and then we're just going to dip. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is perfect. Yes, okay, I only needed one for both. Okay, that is actually beautiful. Let's try to get these Widomines here as well and make some more depots. We need to repair that low HP. Where's the low HP one? Okay, here it is. There we go. Um, am I going to... Oh, actually, I forgot I had the battle cruiser. I keep rallying battle cruisers there and forgetting about them. Probably should be a little bit more aware because I could lose those very easily, as we have seen in the past. Let's try to get drilling claws as well. And we have climbed back to a decent amount of supply. 164 supply is pretty good. Oh, those were not burrow. That's unfortunate, maybe. Still going to shoot? Ah, no, they're not going to shoot anymore. I do have a really good battle cruiser here, though. This battle cruiser is insanely good for us. Okay, let's see. I could try to teleport on top of this, actually. Um, am I going to try? No, I think it's a waste of time. Yo, those mines are actually popping up, though. How many has he lost to those, actually? Oh, am I going to survive? Oh, barely not. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really wish we could have. Maybe we can get some nice Yamatos, though. Here we go. Let's teleport. Oh, I don't have a teleport on that one. That sucks. Oh, they're still going to survive, though. That's pretty nice. Let's see. How many battlecruisers do I have now? I have seven. This base has been completely ransacked by just a few battlecruisers, which is uh, pretty crazy if you think about it. Can I even kill that? There's no way I'm actually going to be able to kill that, right? Yeah, I don't think there's any way. We have another command center. Let's try to get this base. And then I guess slowly but surely we'll get that one. Get the... He has Widow Mines now, too. Didn't expect him to go for Widow Mines, actually. You know... I didn't realize he didn't have this base. I thought he had it. This economy is not looking that good, actually. His economy should have looked way better than mine, but somehow, I don't think it's that bad. I don't want to say our economy is, our economy is obviously not great. We have Our SMEs are running all over the place because there's no place to mine, but uh, I really don't think it's that bad. Now, these two battlecruisers are going to go over here, do a lot of damage. Okay, let's see. How many amounts do I have? Probably a good amount, actually. Okay, let's teleport out. That's, that's enough free units, I think. I, I could have gone for more, but I think it was enough. Okay, let's try to repair these bad boys. Oh, didn't take that much damage, actually, which is pretty nice. Gonna burrow this one over here. Maybe... Oh, actually, these bit of mine should have been burrowed all this time. Glad I saw it in time, else that would have been a little bit tragic. There we go. Let's get some more sensor towers up. He does kill a widow mine there. Uh, do I... I think he, he could also decide to go to the middle. Oh, that widow mine actually killed another cyclone. That's perfect. Widow mines are so good against cyclones, guys. It's insane. It's actually insane. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I, he sees I don't have that base yet, so he doesn't have to go for it. I don't want to lose this command center, actually. That would be very annoying. Let's see, we're back here. I can, you can actually kill a turret with two BCs. Not with one, but with two you can. There you go. One doesn't actually have enough firepower. Throw those over here. I got two Yam... Oh, I got, only got one Yamato left, actually. That sucks. Yeah, I'll just teleport them back, try to kill that barracks. We're going to kill that cyclone now, which is perfect. We're getting more and more money, actually. 180 supply at this point. And the more battle cruisers I get, the better it is going to be for me, because I can Yamato more cyclones at each wave, right? Which is just perfect. Let's see. He's coming for it, but there's not that many cyclones here, you know? There we go. Let's teleport. Oh, that one actually doesn't have a teleport. It barely did. not Can it survive? Oh, it actually survived. How? Okay. I mean, not going to complain, guys. I'm, I'm a fan of this. Definitely a fan of this. You have some more Yamatos. Yeah, I think we got two more kills, right? Yeah. And we're gonna survive, which is nice. Oh, we don't have this base uh, very safe, though. Let's see. I need to just heal all the low HP ones. There's Widowmines there. Here we go. Boom. Oh, that is just beautiful. God, Widowmines against Cyclones have it so beautiful. And guys, I, I don't want to be too confident yet, but I'm starting to feel like we have served proper karma to this gentleman over here. Let's try to saturate this space. Oh, I did misclick there. I think, yeah, there's, I was going to say, there's probably a million SCVs going into the gas. See, these can probably go to the left here. I'm approaching max supply. Oh, I did actually uh, send the wrong SCVs to that base. Uh, I guess I, I can make some more. Only 72. Not bad. Let's see. These Widomites or these SCVs are still AFK. Oh, yeah. Here's the Widomites that he had. Doesn't have this base still, which is really nice for us. He's trying to take the middle of the map. I guess I'll go to the main with these. See what I can do. And now I feel like I have enough map control to actually uh, retake some of the bases on the left side. I'm going to Widomites there and two there. He probably has a lot of cycles in the main, if I would have to guess. Like, he's been pretty aware. Um... 
So I think he probably has vision there. He does have the middle base by now. I'm actually gonna make my sensor towers a little bit more forward. Let's get two more uh, starports up as well. Yeah, I don't have a scan right now. That's actually the most annoying thing about losing all these command centers, is that I can't scan where his RV is, but I would love to be able to. Um, should I bring these Vitamines a bit forward? Yeah, why not? I guess I might as well. I think he still has a lot of units here, right? Oh, he has Thors now. Okay, that's interesting. Thors are pretty good against PCs, but not if you don't have enough, because then you can just Yamato two of them, basically. Oh, one of them is going to survive. That's unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can do some real damage here. That'd be nice. For a second, I thought I saw something in my main, but I'm pretty sure it was my Battlecruiser teleporting to my base, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's see. There we go. Let me get some good Yamatos off. More Yamatos. Dude, the Yamatos are just going insane here. Look at everything dying to those Yamatos. He had such a big army and it's all gone. And now I'm just going to fly over. He doesn't have enough uh, upgrades, I think, so I can just kill these. There you go. I have more attack upgrades than he has armor. We have done it. Karma has been served to a very bad mannered player. And this, in my opinion, guys, is one of the lowest forms of BM. When they BM you when they're winning, they tell you to get out. And when you get that sweet revenge, it is just beautiful. Look at the units lost. Double the efficiency. What do you mean get out? Absolutely destroyed. 13 battle cruisers left. And this was a beautiful end to a beautiful episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it very much. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.